Hi, I'm Ted from Everything Attachments, and we're here today what might be the last final product video as far as just something to be on the sales page uh, for the Wicked 55. This is the Wickeder 55, um, and that came about because we just couldn't get the DOM tubing in the sizes that we needed. It's uh, That tubing is not used for everything, but the things it's used for, you need it because there's not much to compare it to in strength except for what we came up with because we had to. Um, so in this scrapple it uses a piece of quarter inch DOM down here at the bottom where it really matters and has the laminated gussets uh, giving you the three layers of wear metal out here on the front with your teeth and then they splay out to the sides to give you your, your lateral force um, so they don't bend and so forth. This is all 450 hard ox. Uh, then we um, we do use a Schedule 80 pipe right here just simply because that's more for a lineup and hold everything together. This is where we were using even a bigger, thicker DOM, which got where we just couldn't even buy it. Um, the last place we uh, checked, it was $31 a foot, and then they admitted they didn't have it. I guess they thought we wouldn't buy it, even though we would have just to keep production going. So since we couldn't buy it at even a crazy price, uh, Nate and I came up with the idea of taking hard ox and being able to form it. And this is formed way more tighter than any tolerances the SSAB hard ox really says it'll do without breaking. Now this is, because we only have, we have three presses, our biggest one's a 350 ton, we have a 1500 ton, that's three million pounds of pressing force that's uh, getting installed right now, uh, but it's not up and running, so we did kind of fake it till we could make it. This is step bent, took approximately two million pounds of force to do this radius, that's two and seven eighths of an inch with six inch piece of hard ox. Pretty amazing to be able to bend this without breaking it, and it's just knowing how to do it in the machine. So all this is pre-cut in a flat before we form it, and then it fits over all the tines, and this being solid on the back just makes it ultra rigid. So to the best of our guesstimates, this piece here is probably in the two and a half to three times stronger than the DOM that we were using, even at the price. So this is about 18 or 20 pounds of hard ox. That's about $20. Uh, and this tube was gonna cost 30, 30, almost $32 a foot. So that would have been $130 worth just for that pipe. We've traded it for $20 worth of hard ox and something that's probably nearly three times as strong. Uh, while we were doing this, we said, <clears throat> Why don't we just go ahead and finish this thing where we don't have to mess with it for the next 15 years. So Nate and I agreed to just stop and go ahead and change. It wasn't that we were having any problem and everybody doesn't love their, their Wicked 55s, but while we were doing it, we just went ahead and finished anything that could possibly be done to it for the next decade. Uh, so we wouldn't have to do any more changes in it because Charles, my son, he, he's not big on changes because he's in charge of inventory. So we put this hard ox in here. You can see the shape of it. It straddles every time. It's hollow in between. Um, it's got teeth all the way across here. So you'll be able to, a lot of grapples, I've read on some grapples that look similar to this and it says no pulling allowed, uh, no back dragging allowed. And that's what a rake grapple's for. So I don't really understand that. As far as we're concerned, you can pretty much do anything you want to with this and we're gonna, kind of prove it today so we love our new hard ox piece once we get our three million pound press we'll be able to do this in one press with a special die that nate and i made we've tried it with a six inch piece of this and it will bend and fold this at one piece so we also have a pattern coming out on that die to be able to do this for us later when we have enough pressure to push this much uh, at one time and including we're going to put we're going to go ahead and change the 60 and the uh, 66 to uh, something like this. The 66 will likely be quarter inch thick. This is 3 16 I'm going to lay this down here on the excavator. <clears throat> so right now you see we've got a chain hook to it and we've not done this yet. 
and we're going to drag this thing around a little bit. I told Nate while I was on vacation to hook a chain to something solid and go to the tire smoked, and we'll probably do that here in a minute. But uh, first thing we wanted to do was kind of warm up with some chin-ups and see what it would do. So we think this excavator, we've got the blade down. It's a KO80 excavator. You can pan around and look at that and uh, kind of see what we've done. <clears throat> Now, this has got a Kubota factory uh, hydraulic third function. It, it's, it's okay, it works fine. It's nice to get installed from the dealer if you don't want to do it. I'm not a big fan of the way the, the hoses point forward instead of sideways, but it is what it is. But let's see if it'll do a chin up here. Oh yeah, so we, we get a little morning workout here this morning. So we're not scared to pull on our lid. In fact, we put more grippers on there so you can pull as big a log as your tractor will pull out. This is actually bigger than the tractor it's rated for, but I probably would use it in most cases. The Kubota's a fairly light tractor. If you're a Mahindra, uh, even a Coyote, you're so much heavier per horsepower that you do need to go up to a 60 when you're anywhere near this type of horsepower. So we'll see how the excavator likes it. Well, let's see what it does backing up. Uh, loader's uh, box plate's almost touching. I'm gonna give it a little bit of a break. I'm in medium range. I even got, these are field tires. It's actually pulling the arm down on the excavator considerably. So we're not really worried about that. I believe everything's good. I've got it over to the side, so I'm gonna drag it back over just a little bit. It won't even pick it up from there. I'm surprised. Oh, I'm fully extended. Let me back up just a little bit. Raise the blade. Uh, it's got, look, it's got the back end of my excavator up off the ground. I just wanted to prove that what you're getting, it's at least as good as what we had. It it's, it's, should be two to three times better, uh, but we're not scared of it. We're gonna implement it on our other attachments. We're, it's a, uh, we're, we're just a unique company that'll try things like this and, and use our brains to outthink what the, the most of the engineers with the big nice certificate have. And we'll continue to improve all our products as time goes. We're behind right now. They've, they're, they're, they've just cut what trees were uh, worth cutting down there. They're getting ready to get grubbed. All that is getting ready to get cleaned out. We own now over to the road. And all this will be where our new 250 by 420 foot building is going, uh, where we can get a lot, we should be able to get 60 welders in and get this lead time down to where we've got a lot on the corner full of uh, attachments with like six of everything we make built. And instead of you calling and it's 12 or 14 weeks, it's gonna be we can ship tomorrow. That's our goal. And we're gonna get there somehow together. Thank you for, for your patience. Mm -hmm.